New at 5.30, stranded at the bus stop. Some Hillsborough County parents are upset with how the school year has started. This morning, one parent told us his kids were finally picked up, but two and a half hours late. Our Eric Waxler joins us live from Tampa, where he found out there is a reason for the problems. Eric? Yeah, this is the area here in Tampa where people, parents are really upset over what's been going on with the school buses this year. Now, it's not unusual for there to be some trouble with the buses early in the school year. The district tells us here in Hillsborough County they have 91,000 kids riding the bus. Throw in the fact that there are short drivers right now, and it is a recipe for trouble. This year starting off is terrible. Clinton Dildy says a Hillsborough County school bus was supposed to pick up his two kids at 7.30 this morning and take them to Kimball Elementary. But when the bus finally showed up, it was almost 10 o'clock. I felt that was very irresponsible of Hillsborough County School District, period. It shouldn't just be put on the bus drivers. Dildy says several elementary school aged children were stranded and some eventually wandered off. We have kids ranging from the age of six years old to 10 years old hooping and hollering and running all around. The school district says part of the problem is they are way understaffed, short about 100 drivers right now. Add to that complicated bus routes because of magnet and choice schools, and there is little margin for error. We have enough bus drivers to fill the routes that we have. It's only when we have potentially breakdowns or if we have maybe a couple of drivers in one particular area that might call out sick, that's when we have this ripple effect. The district says they hope to hire more drivers and are continuing to evaluate the best routes with the ones they have. In the meantime, they encourage parents to wait with their kids at the bus stops. We are aggressively trying to improve our communication with parents at this point. We're sending out parent links if buses are late. Either they do something about it or I'm going to find a different district to take my children to school. And I, I would hate to take them out of public school, but I'm fearing that's what would happen. Yeah, we were out here this afternoon for drop-off, and while the buses were about 30 minutes late or so, that was way better than it was this morning. The school district says if you're worried about the buses being late, you can call your child's school. Their GPS is on the buses so they can be tracked. Live in Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. Thank you, Eric.